Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of Dishonored Death of the Outsider. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel and now that I've said it I'm not sure I've been saying the Dishonored part every time. But that's life. I kind of feel like maybe I should make the intro a little more interesting anyway, so that's probably not an adequate start. And neither is this. But here we are, outside the apartment of, um, of Teresia Cienfuegos, who has something to do with that locked up shop, I think. So let's see what she's got to say for herself. By the outsider. The bank sent you, didn't they? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I've got nothing left. You can't bleed whale oil from a bone. Tell your trustees that. I'm not from the bank. I saw that your father's pharmacy closed. Do you know where else I can find laudanum? Yes, the auction house. My father used to distill laudanum by hand from a secret family recipe. Poppy tincture, he called it. Better than factory made. But the bank's selling that along with all of his other worldly possessions. They took everything we had. I'm sorry for your loss. The newspaper says Ivan Jacoby murdered him. His body was completely drained of blood when the Grand Guard found him. I've no idea why anyone would want to hurt Father. Anyway, the auction's today. You better hurry. And wear a hat or something. The guards won't let you in looking like that. And a hat is going to fix it? Well, you got some figs here, so, I mean, they didn't take everything, everything. Any bone charms around here? Hmm. We'll leave that. Hallway? What else we got going on? Dead end. Glasswares. I don't really need to go downstairs. So, yeah, let's go steal that laudanum. I want that so that I can knock out the guards. That's what it was. There's the bank. There's the auction. Can I get over there? Yes. I told her if you want my advice, just pay the fine and be done with it. No use making trouble. Don't know who that was directed at. Come on, I just wanna I just wanna jump over there. Is that is that so much to ask? It is not. Mm, nope, can't get up there. Not even close. The rich are always the worst thieves. The Cienfuegos lot looks promising. That wild painting. Striking. Mother would love it. Maybe I'll take this guy's face. That sounds good, right? I can't go in there looking like this. I need to find another face. Why did I have the shooty equipped? gonna make trouble. Give me that. You get to live because I missed. How do you feel about that? Huh? <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can win it at auction. The minimum Do I have enough coin for that? I need at least 280. Final lot on the block today comes from the Cienfuegos Pharmacy. That's right, the entire store inventory. You'll get everything from them. The syringes to a poppy tincture with plenty of useful items in between. And, ladies and gentlemen, look at this magnificent original painting signed by Ellen. Uh, what? No, I didn't want that one. Ugh. Really making a fine showing of myself, huh? Lamented pharmacist had so many talents. Is that too much to ask? Where is the stuff that I want? What's going on here? Oh man. 
Okay. <laughs> what on earth was that? I think she had a shotgun or something. Alright, well, maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can avoid killing peoples this time. <laughs> we gonna go? We're gonna go. Uh, Alright. So, where actually is the thing that I want, though? Is it down here? The minimum bid is fixed at 280 coins. Our final lot on the block today comes from the Cienfuegos Pharmacy. That's right, the entire store inventory. You'll get everything from them. I'm just gonna auction it all off in one shot. I don't think that's a very good way to maximize their profit. Look at this magnificent original painting signed by Eleuterio Cienfuegos himself. Who knew that our late lamented pharmacist had so many talents? Sounds like something wild is going on down there. I assume we'll be checking it out at some point. No, I don't want to read. I want coins. Come on. Give me the coin. Money? Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. What is down here? With all the bank foreclosures, there have been some choice items on the block these days. Is this just taking me back to them? Yeah, it is. <sighs> what? The impertinence! No one said. It's probably too late. No? Alright. Do I have to win the auction, or is there another way I can do this? You know what? Or something. Honestly, it's not something bad. We'll jump. Maybe it's nothing. See, I went up there, and I was able to get behind, and then I got spotted. Come on. Now's not the time for a nap. This whole business has me Who's having a nap? You bet. Jumpy is in cold. Hmm. Oh, it's her. Nah, she's been knocked out. Hmm. Too slow. <sighs> Someone's gotta give. Could I interest you in a game of cards? I don't know what to do without this. And I've wasted my MP on that. Beef stew for dinner. Sure. More likely it's some kind of commotion. I say. Could I get up there? I'm not sure that's gonna do me oh. Alright. Not sure it's gonna do me much good. Especially yeah, not if I do it that way. Tonight. You in? Hmm. See, when I was Corvo, I had, uh... You feel a special kind of loneliness when the world treats you like filth. Alright. Well, I got what I need, so... I don't want to die! Let's just go. Probably lost those guys. Not, not, uh, not my cleanest job, but hey, 
I didn't kill anybody except for that one accidental guy. So that probably went about as well as it could have done. And now, yeah, air duct. Huh. Trouble sleeping again last night. Sorry Maybe to hear that. I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures, but they can be kind of pricey. <laughs> like the tincture of the poppy, for example. So now we're making our way back through here again. One of my favorite places. I don't need to get in there, apparently. I do need to get over there. Good evening, Michael's deposit and loan. I'm here to make a withdrawal. Sure would be nice if I could get up there, but I guess... I mean, even if I could, where would I go from there? Look for the painter's lift. Residents of Upper Syria District are urged to maintain orderly and well-appointed facades mm. to their homes and shops. No, can't make that. And I think that'll hurt me if I try it. Work area. What's the work area about? I didn't find him yet, did I? But I still have to get through this area before I do that. So if I if I run and jump off this, could I make that? No. All right. Well, let's just book it. Ooh, there he is. Alright, so now we've got a sanitation area key. What am I doing? Okay. Now let's see how much of a disturbance that caused. Mm, they're coming over to check me out. Might be able to grab her should have marked her. You can't stay hidden forever. Can I though? There. I'll wait until she turns around. Is she, damn it? And then I'll hop over and say hello to her. I'm sure that'll go splendidly for me. Reload. <laughs> It went exactly the way I planned. Thank you for your cooperation. Shining Bone? I didn't find Shining Bone. Is there more to find down here? You got a bone charm? Huh? You don't have a bone charm. What is this about? That's a way in is what that's about. Hmm. You have to. <laughs> Let's see what else. It actually looks fairly clear up here, except for that guy and the thingy.
I might be able to work with that. Power the painter's lift. Well, that oil tank is empty. Ah. Is that thingy that I saw not a security system, but a refilling station? That's why I need to go over there and interact with that feller. Hey friend, do you mind? Do you mind? Thank you. All I really wanted was for him to be unconscious. Now, what does the dog think of my disguise? I didn't expect it to explode. Excuse me? Ready? This shouldn't take long. The reward is ours. Let's go. Thank for mercy. Oh, hell. That was who I think it was. It wasn't. All right. All right. So, don't throw the tank at the dog. It might be empty, but it still explodes. Having learned that lesson, and also that the dog can still detect us. Oh man! Well, let's uh. Oh come on! You know what? Let's just yeah. I should have been able to make that. I haven't figured out why sometimes it fires immediately and sometimes it doesn't. But I feel like I should be able to make that leap. Did I overshoot it? Why? Why, why did I die from that? Did, did I land and then take more falling damage? After landing a second time. Alright. Let's, um... Solve some other problems. And what do you guys think about all that, hmm? I'm not as distracted as I would have liked. <laughs> you guys better go tell your boss. So what about this? Does this work? Alrighty. Meanwhile, we've diverted some of our friends. So now we've made it over here without raising an alarm. do with the shining bone though because I like those all right and now is that friend still over there he is uh, no that's not the same spot good all right and the dog isn't over there because I might have got all the dogs
So now the question is, where do I find a refilling station for that tank? Don't mind me. Triggling, triggling an alarm bell doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, whale oil. interesting over here. Alright. I don't want to go too far and get sucked into an alternative attack plan that I don't want. Instead, I'm going to remain committed to the rooftop plan. And I'm going to do my best not to, you know, explode this time. Nice. Now, set down gently. Excuse me. And there we go. Move it on up. And there's the air duct. Nope, that's the wrong power. There's dudes up here. There's several dudes up here. What are you doing over there? Got you. Got you. I think that's all I need to worry about right now, right now. see another one over there on my way to the air duct. But we can worry about that in a minute. How about this bone charm, huh? There you are. What do we got? I think combustion is the new one, maybe? I don't feel a strong need to replace any of those. Man, who just lights a fire on a rooftop like that? Uh, no, I wanted to throw. Thank you. These guards are kind of irresponsible. Who is he, though? It's a good thing these guys are deaf, huh? That guy marked. We'll grab him up in a minute, I think. Oh, you're not even going to come check it out? Well, that's fine. I guess I can come to you. What is this building? It's a really bizarre shape in this architecture, isn't it? doing the guy why aren't your footsteps being barked for me there we go too slow and now it's time for everybody inside to take a little nap
after hours deposit. Alright, well let's rob a bank, huh? What's that about? Enter the bank. So I was looking at the uh, loading screen art, and I noticed that uh, I think Billy is holding the blade that we're about to steal, so I assume we're actually going to wield it for the rest of the game, instead of just holding it in reserve for the outsider. Easy. Now for the difficult part. Well, with everybody asleep, I hope it's not too difficult. I need to stay quiet. They could still wake up if I make too much noise. Oh, I see. Is it a mathematical sequence? Not all of the digits in the combinations are prime numbers, but it must be a pattern. Each number is generated by the numbers before it. Under wonder what arithmetic conditions are they generated? The root question. I must join up all the safe combinations into one long sequence, but skip the, skip the safe locked with a double set of keys. It disrupts Chain Dosh's sequence. Why would he do this? What purpose does this serve? I hate no man in Karnaka more than I hate Kieran Bloody Jindosh. There's a there's an aspect of Fibonacci there. What is with the music? Calm down. Don't need that stuff. Can I read that? No. This is incredibly high stress for everybody being asleep and you just need to be quiet so they don't wake up. Down we go. Oh, you know, we're gonna meet the, the mechanical things, that's why it's still all excitable. What do we got here? Money, all right. Dear Manager Atwater, the Calton branch of Michael's Bank is seeing an upsurge in account holders from Freyport. Discussion with our Freyport colleagues reveals that clients are trading coin between their two accounts for some unknown purpose. Currently, this activity seems more curious than nefarious, but we wanted to bring it to your attention. Hmm, is there some arbitrage going on? Arbitrage? I understand the Freeport branch has been temporarily closed due to the sudden arrest of and subsequent imprisonment of the entire foreign account staff. We at Calton Branch are appalled by the dishonesty of our Freeport colleagues and wish to assure you that we had no part in their scheme. We continue to serve Michael's Bank with respect and discretion as we always have. Well, there you go. Something was certainly going on. Am I going to have to listen to this nervous jangling through the whole time? Give me that. Thank you for your recent letter. The Karnaka branch has seen a similar surge in such activities from Freyport. I have informed Dolores Michaels and she will investigate the accounts. Yeah, I think it must have been arbitrage. Arbitrage? I might hear somebody sleeping in here. And a fan. Hey, who is? Well, apparently a bit more discretion is required than I thought. It's not just a lot of noise. 
it's much noise at all. Well, how about you just take a real deep sleep, huh? That's better. All right, well, we're all out of time for episode seven. Come back and see me again in episode eight, and uh, I think I'm going to choke out a lot of sleeping people. Talk to you soon.